Hello there and welcome back to the Skrillhead YouTube channel. I hope you're going to enjoy this preview and I really hope that you've enjoyed the videos over the last couple of weeks. I have missed I missed the preview for the Carabao Cup game but I did do the review um, which obviously was against Chelsea. This is the Premier League game now. This is the Premier League game against Chelsea. We're going to Stamford Bridge against Chelsea. Chelsea back to back and it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see what differences Obviously, in terms of team selection, are going to happen, and I've been thinking all week, thinking, you know what, there were a, there were enough positives in the game, the Carabao Cup game, with all the changes we've made. There were enough positives in that game that I thought, yeah, we with the changes we'll make to go for the full strength or as near full strength as we can get, we'll be able to do something against this Chelsea team. We've got to obviously look out for Hazard. Hazard is in the form of his life right now, and he is definitely the key threat. But the other key threat for them is definitely going to be Olivier Giroud because he looks like the he looks like such a good target man now that he looks so much better than he did at Arsenal and he looked all right he looked decent at Arsenal he used to score a couple against us in the past couple of seasons and stuff like that as well but he looks like the perfect link up man with Hazard now and that is really playing into Hazard's game but Hazard's game has gone up to another level that I've not, you know, we've seen close to Hazard at the moment. We saw glimpses of this at the World Cup, but now you're starting to see, you know, if he can put this together over a consistent, over the season and make it like be consistently this good, there's no doubt in my mind that he'd probably go on to be the player of the season. Um, because, I, and that's, you know, I don't like to say it because obviously I want our players to be the players of the season as well, but you have to look, you've got to look and be honest. You have to be honest about it. And that's, he is looking like the best player in the Premier League right now, in terms of forwards especially. So all week I've been thinking, we can do this. We can still go there, get in behind that back line, and we can go there and, and get a good result. We can get a really good result. We can definitely win the game. We've got the ability to win the game for sure. With Salah, Mane, uh, Firmino starting, that's what I would expect anyway. Um, not that any of the people that started the other night didn't do well, but obviously there's a golfing class still. We showed with our 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 squad depth that it is still got quite a bit of improvement to go, but the gulf between our squad depth of the second string and the first team, it's not as it's not as wide a gap as it used to be. And I'm not saying that like you know both sides are absolutely world class. They're not, but it's getting closer. The gap is getting closer. The squad depth is getting it is much stronger than it ever has been, than I've ever known it to be in, in pretty much my lifetime. So, with that being said though, obviously the midfield could look good. I don't expect Fabinho to start this game. Maybe he'll make an appearance. There were really good positives from Fabinho. A few people picking up on, on like criticising Fabinho quite a lot for a few things, and I just think that's quite unfair because it was his first game as, as you know, starting for Liverpool, he played for about 70 minutes or something like that. Got a good 70 minutes. I felt that he did really well. I felt he played. Did he, did he actually, did he play longer? He may have played longer. And on, I think he, he might have. I think did Salah come on for him in the 87th minute or something? I'm not sure. I honestly can't remember. But I felt that he played really well. I think, yeah, there's going to be some, you know, deficiencies in his game coming up against another Premier League team. But that will come with game time. This whole... You know, I like that Jurgen Klopp has said that he's going to, you know, slowly bleed him into the team a bit more, get him some more experience. And I'm like, yeah, that's how you get him used to it. Training is good, but if he gets more game time, that'll be even better. So hopefully he can get some game time at some point. If it's not now, maybe in the Champions League or something like that. But I felt that he did good. But I think that we will go back to what we know in terms of the starting lineup, possibly with one exception. So I think Jurgen Klopp today, I think I was at work when it happened, but there's been an update on Virgil van Dijk. Obviously he had a little bit of a rib injury, but he played through the PSG game, uh, played against Southampton, had to come off, didn't miss the last game, but everybody was saying, oh, they expect him to be fit for the Chelsea game um, at the weekend. That might not happen by the sounds of it. Apparently he's struggling to be fit for the game, He's struggling to maybe shake off that pain. Maybe it's still giving quite a little bit too much discomfort for him, and he's not really. He's not. He may. There's a real chance Virgil Van Dijk might not be ready for this game, and that is a concern. That is a concern. But what I would say instead of that would be, 
if Van Dijk isn't going to start this game, then you have to go with Joe Gomez and you have to go with Joel Matip. Um, I wasn't impressed with Lovren uh, against Chelsea midweek. And that was a bit of, you know, that's against Morata. Morata is, is a different type of player to Giroud. Giroud would probably dominate against Lovren and they would probably target Lovren. He's only just come back. I don't expect him to be starting games and stuff like that, even though he says he wants to get himself back in the team. I think I think you have to go with Joe Gomez and Matip if it's not going to be Van Dijk. And then obviously the rest of it would be Alisson, Robertson, Trent. Um, probably Milner, uh, Keita, Wijnaldum would be in there as well. Give us a bit more of a solid midfield. Hopefully control it a little bit more as well. Maybe Henderson could come in there as well, but he looked really fiery the other night. And I'm, I, I don't want to see a red card for our captain. I don't. And I felt we weren't far away from that with how he was... Yes, we had some bad things go on, go not go our way because of the referee, but you also you you've got to measure yourself a little bit better. You know, you've got to take control of yourself a little bit better in some situations. And I felt that Henderson was really bordering online of you're going to say say something too much to the referee, and he's going to send give you a second yellow and send you off. So maybe go with the control of Milner, of Genie Wijnaldum, have Naby Keita in there. I think that would be decent, I really do. The other option would be having Shakiri in that midfield somewhere, but probably with this game, I would go with Milner, um, I'd love to go with uh, Wijnaldum, and then obviously Naby Keita as well. And then up front, for me, it, it just it stays the same as it normally does, which would be Mane, Firmino, and Salah. Sturridge didn't you know didn't do anything wrong, Scott. He, all right, he missed, when he went round the goalkeeper, he missed a shocking shot. But then he scored an overhead kick, so I can kind of forgive that a little bit. Although if he did score that other shot, we probably would have been either maybe won the game or we would have drawn the game at least. Anyway, <laughs> we're splitting hairs now. So, Chelsea though. Chelsea are going to be a difficult team. They're going to be difficult to come up against. They, uh, I felt that they started the game midweek with more first team starters than we did. But obviously they've still got that... Um, What's his name? Kepper? Keeper? Kepper the Keeper? I don't actually know his name. So they've got a different goalkeeper. It's not going to be Willy Caballero. Um, I can't remember what their back line would be. I can't. I just can't remember. <laughs> I really can't remember. Um, but yeah, they. I think that they started with a couple more starters, like regular starters than we did. But even so, they will still inject a lot more into that. You know, starting lineup straight away would have Eden Hazard, Eden Hazard in it. So that's going to be threatening straight away. Whether they go with Pedro and Willian or Pedro or Willian, I don't know. I think this is going to, I actually think it's going to be an entertaining game. I think it's going to be quite end to end and I think there's going to be goals for both teams. I really do. And I think it depends how, it depends how we come out and start. It depends how Liverpool come out and start this game. If we come out and we go with intent, we go with like some maybe sl some slick passing, good moves getting forward but also being a bit so, like quite solid at the back then yeah I think we can go on and win this game if we can keep the key thing here is keeping Hazard quiet but also trying to also eliminate the threat of Olivier Giroud the two of them together they link up really really well you, if you if you, you can't just keep one of them quiet you've got to try and keep both of them quiet and then even then if, it, if, if they've got William or Pedro you've got to try and keep those quiet their midfield as well Jorginho who will be wanting to dictate um, all of the play in midfield with unbelievable amounts of passing stats and stuff like that as well. So he's going to be wanting to thread the needle really, really well. And it could happen. Could happen. I think we've got a better chance of winning if we've got Virgil van Dijk in the side. But if not, and we go with Matip, we've just got to see how we do. Alisson will be in goal, so I'll be much more confident than when Mignolet was in goal. That's for damn sure. Anyway... So what do, I, what do I think is going to happen in this game? I'm going to go for it, and I think Liverpool will win this game 3-2. I just think that there's going to be goals in this for, for both teams. I think maybe I think Chelsea could go, you know, they'll score the first goal, we'll come in, score two, they'll draw it up, and then we'll score the winner. That's how I see it going. It could even be a bit more, it could go either way for both teams. We could also strip Chelsea and tear them a new one, and vice versa, 
they could have one of those games. Hazard could have an absolute blinder. Our defence could have an absolute shocker. And they could absolutely rip us one as well. It could go either way. They're two teams that are playing exciting, attractive football. And it could literally go either way. It's literally going to be who can score more, who's going to be more on form, and who's going to have the better defence. And it's really tough to pick. So I'm going for a 3-2 Liverpool win, but fully realising that there is a chance that we could, we could lose the game as well. So I'm just saying... Anyway, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below for the game. I think it's tomorrow, but I can, honestly, I can't remember what time. Um, I think it's tomorrow, though, Saturday. So, yeah, I'm going to look forward to watching that. Let's gear up for it, and hopefully we, hopefully we can keep our streak alive in the Premier League and maybe stay top of the table. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. Get your comments down below, and I'll catch you later.